Hey, hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Video you know guys, really reflex to me. If you're first time visiting, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification icon. And if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. So I've actually done something similar to this in the past, but I see most people do not make use of this overlay and most people do not try it out. So I'll be recreating this video right now and I'll be dropping the overlay back on my telegram group for you guys to download for free. So if you want to actually know how to manipulate white background perfectly in few minutes, I think this video is for you. And I'll be dropping the file also. You don't have to go extreme right to manipulate backdrop. So I'll be giving you this backdrop for you guys to make use of. You can use, use this as your picture signature for your white backdrop. It's going to come out very, very nice. So the first thing you need to do is to carry a picture into Photoshop. If you are shooting on row, it's going to take you directly to camera row. So you are going to do the basic settings there. If you want to know how I do that, can we go and watch my previous video? It's going to show you how to do all those basic settings. Once you're done with that, just click on open. Then it's going to take you straight to Photoshop. Hello? And boom. The next thing you need to do right now is for you to retouch your picture, but we won't be doing that in this particular tutorial because we are just doing what? Manipulation. So I'll be dropping some video later on on how I retouch my picture. So the next thing I'll be doing right now is for me to expand my picture to the size I want it to be. So I'll just go to my crop tool or you can click on C on your keyboard. If you are using the whatever keyboard you are using, just click on C there. So once you click on that, it's going to take you to your crop and select the size you want to be using. So I recommend you using 4x5 into bracket 8x10 pixel because that's the Instagram size and we all know most photographers love posting on Instagram. So Instagram will be able to resize our pictures for us because we already done that ourselves in Photoshop. So I'm going to expand the picture. No matter how you expand it right now, this quick setting is going to, still going to be there. It's going to be on 4x5. I'm going to expand it like this. I want there to be enough border room. So I think I like it around this way. I'm just going to do what? I'll click on OK. So the next thing you're going to do is for you to duplicate your background layer by clicking on Ctrl J. If you're using a MacBook, Command J on it. So pick it whatever tool you know how to use for selecting of your picture. I'll be using my quick selection tool over here. So click on select subject. I'll wait for it to load up. Let's wait for it to load up. And boom, it actually did the perfect selection for us, but I know there's going to be a little bit of mistake there. So I think around this way is still okay, but the edge is not selecting perfectly. So I'll use my polygonal axis too to make that selection. So once I'm done with that, next thing I just need to do, I'll right click on it, I'll go to further, I'll be further by 2 pixel. Then I'll click on OK. Then I'm going to create a max on it. So once I'm done with that, all I just need to do is to click on the background layer. This time around, I'll go to my file manager and go to where the background is located. So this is the background over here. I just have to drag it down to my Photoshop. So I'm going to expand the, the location I want it to be. So I think around this way is OK. I think around this way is OK. Drag it down. I'll click on my OK. So the reason why I won't be working more on the shadow is because it already came. The clothes, the fabric is wearing its own shoe that it won't be obvious that there's no shadow in the picture. But this background is too light for my liking. I'll just control M on it. I'm going to bring it down, drag it down so I can see the design very well as you can see right now, which is very, very OK. Then I'll click on OK. The next thing I'll be doing right now. I want to bring a prop, a POP prop, so that we can piece it here to make it look very, very nice. So I do have one in mind, so I'll just go to where I want to pick it up. Mind you, everything I use here and lots more available for sale in my store. You can just go to my store and purchase them today. You need to help your picture editing skills. You need to help you a lot. So let's look for the prop we'll be making use of right now. I have a lot of them. If you also want to know where I get all my PNG on the valet for, I have a telegram group on ground right now where you can join. So I'll be sharing tips on where I get all my files from. So here is a here's the file we're making use of. I just have to drag it down to my Photoshop. I'll bring it around this way. Then I'll just adjust the size. So it's going to look very, very real. I think around this way is okay. And boom, we're done. The next thing for you to just do what? Okay, let's try and break back the shadow a little bit. So go to the background you just brought in right now, create a mark on it. Then pick your brush, your normal brush color. Then scroll over it a little bit. Control Z, scroll over it, scroll over the photo area. There's no shadow we need to protect here. I don't think there's any shadow. But I think we've just brought out a little shadow here. 
So if you want to know how I protect my shadow, there are also videos on that. Just go to my videos, you're going to see them there. So I'm boom, we've actually done something nice right now. Next thing we need to do is to color grade that picture. Click on the uppermost layer, click on adjustment color, then click on color lookup. Low 3D load, and I'll just be using which one? I'll be using my perfect skin. And boom, look at what it did for us. But the color is too much, so bring down the opacity a little bit. And we have a nice manipulated POP backdrop. Very, very simple and straightforward. So, with this right now, you can actually transform your picture to whatever you want it to be. So, I hope this video, if you can, if it actually does, drop a like, share with your friends. Someone out there might be in need of this video. See you guys in my next video tutorial. Reflex out. So, in case you're interested in getting any of my picture editing file, from my overlays down to my color lookup, which is my lot file, so you just have to scroll down to your video. So, under the comment, this is my description. So, it's not going to load the description for you, you just have to click on show more, click on it. So, it's going to show all the options. Once it does that, just click on my store link. So, here's my store link. Once you click on it, it's going to take you directly to my store. So, you can actually select any file you want from the color lookup this is a light skin lot this is a feather which i use in my recent video this is 100 premium baby overlays this is my fourth video course this video course entails on how to download all the files i want the site i use in downloading all my files free of charge including my photoshop panels also this includes my png files this includes all my packs all my picture editing files, my premium overlay, my PNG, my flying fabrics, my color lookup, my presets. So once you buy this, you've already bought everything apart from this one. So here is my flying fabrics. Here is my, in case you want to give me any project for me to work on. Here is my color lookup. Here is my background overlay. And here is my preset file. So in case you're interested in buying any one, you can actually go for them. The good news there is that you can actually buy your own currency, any currency of your choice. You can buy with any currency of your choice. A uh, quick one. So I just created a Telegram premium group, unlike my regular group before. So this will, this will just be for some restricted member, uh, no more than 50. So I only need 50 members in this group. Whereby we're sharing some tips, some tricks, or on how to actually become a better photo editor and manipulator. So here's what it's going to entail. I'll be giving you some of my videos, some of doctor's videos, some of the videos I record and I did not do what edit so that I won't be able to hide some of the flaws I make while edit, editing my picture. So this will be given to you also there, some of the videos which I recorded. So different sites where you can get photo editing software for free. So you buying everything every time from the overlay down to the PNG, etc. etc. So you can do what you can just go there and download them for free. So this site will be dropped for you guys free of charge. Access to all my files, both recent and uh, future files. So any file you see I use in the picture, that means I have a collection of it. So I'll be uploading most of the collections here. Whenever I get a new collection, I'm going to upload it here. So I can get access to it. Both my lot and my preset also. I'll be giving you some videos on my BTS, including my light setup, etc. So you can do what? You can know how I set my lighting, how I achieve my picture. So, some trials and errors also in editing while I'm editing my picture, some of the errors I make, and you guys don't see in the YouTube video I drop. So, this will also be dropped on there also.